Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Fatal Frame 4. And you know, it's been a long, long time. We're already on, uh, well into the teens regarding installments. This is number 18. But I have finally, that's where I want to go, I think I have finally solved my little cutscene problem. Remember way, way back in episode, or episode installments 2, when I said that um, the cutscenes were lagging and therefore unwatchable? It was a hardware issue, I'll see if I could look into it. I have gotten that little problem, I'm pretty sure I've gotten that little problem fixed. So I'll see what happens next time I get to some sort of black and white flashback cutscene. Because some cutscenes worked, those were the ones with the real problems. You saw that with, uh, maybe installment, it was 15 or 16, it was one of those. Okay, good, I'm not going crazy. I thought I went the complete opposite direction. No, I just took one wrong turn. So hopefully that should be the case. Regarding the actual context of the game right now, we finally found the ability to activate the bars for the underground passageway and raise them. Which is good because we want to go back upstairs and uh, open the door that seems to be able to lead us to the cemetery. There we go. Also, this creates a crazy convenient shortcut. Now let's see if I get into a fight for doing something right. Also, I'm a poet and I don't know it. Oops a daisy. Huh? I, oh. I probably could have captured that one, but that, that was not much time. Hey, sacred... Oh, no, it couldn't be a healing item. If it's a healing item, I pick it up instantly. Special examination schedule. As planned, the next five patients related to the special examination have been arranged. Let me guess, the girls. Examination will take place in the director's office. The limited access is essential. Inpatients. Misaki, Ruka, Madoka. Outpatients. Marie and Tomoe. And those are the ones who died. Interesting. At the end, there's a very hurriedly scribbled memo. Today's choice for the Kagura's Kanade was bad. Without them, it'll just be an ordinary festival. In previous ceremonies of passage, there was much scrutiny over the choice of Kanade, a pure, obedient, sensitive maiden. The mask and the music easily devour these maidens. By nature, the festival decides a community's fate, and we must embrace the seriousness and responsibility of the ritual. We must have perfection in this election, even if that means there must be delays in choosing. <laughs> we must go on with the Crimson Ritual, even if there's only one twin. I swear, nothing will go wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. I thought I noticed something. I'll point it out momentarily. Let's take a look at that new record we got in the notebook. People, Tsubaki Tono. Nurse from the mainland. Worked at Rogetsu Hall. Otsuwa in the dance. Fell during the dance and passed away. Unknown cause of death. Her face had distorted. And spiritual effects from the ritual caused it? Maybe? I don't know. Case. Kidnapping case. The night of... Oop. Perpetrator. Were the kidnapped girls taken to perform the Kanadi and the rituals called the Ceremony of Passage? Suspect. Yo, Haibara. Clues were provided by the hospital personnel. And now, things. That, that's a category I put in my notebook. Things. You know what goes under things? Freaking everything. Ceremony of Passage beneath the Kagura. Did the Ceremony of Passage affect the festival above? Was the Kagura dance done below at exactly the same time as the Ceremony of Passage? Hmm. Yeah, it seems that also, you know what, in the map, out of the map. Loading time seems to be much faster. Oh, I like this. Now, where I want to go, where's that, there's where I want to go. So I'm going to have to, well, I did see the ghost go in here. I guess I'll check out that room real quick, but that's not the way I ultimately want to go. Maybe there'll be a note in here or something. I wonder if I actually need the no damage thing. 
Speaking of, I could have sworn there's a doll in there. No, there is. <laughs> I'm not losing my mind. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip the uh, the no damage lens real quick. This really is kind of a pain. This is the worst part about Shoshiro. I guess he makes up for his badassery with little inconvenient things like this. Oh, maybe I've just... There it is, there it is. Man, those eyes, I swear to God. Be gone with you. Well, glad to break that curse. What a terrible night for a curse. How did I not think of that one? Okay. Well, it looks like this ghost was examining that side of the room. Oh, how much you want to bet? No, I was wondering if the bus would look at me. Letter from Soya Yamotsuki. And again, Suki means moon, we've been over this. After a long time, I finally completed the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. I poured my heart and soul into it, and I feel I gave my everything. My spirit is exhausted, and I want to thank you for your help. Lost documents in the Ceremony of Passage were restored, and the techniques became clear. Above all, I studied the paints that are the key to the mysterious Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, and gathered all that were necessary. You will surely see the results you wished for at the Ceremony and the true Mask of the Lunar Eclipse complete. The true Mask of the Lunar Eclipse is by no means the same as the abominable Mask of Legend, and it will not create the evil day without suffering. The catastrophe was caused because the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse made by Suetsu was incomplete. Hmm. Suetsu wrote that this mask will open the gate to the afterlife. Your implacability bore fruit. I must endeavor to protect the mask until the Rugetsu Kagura. I will not be present for the ceremony passage, but I'll be praying for a success. Soya Yomotsuki. Huh. Interesting. And how about this? Yeah, that's what the ghost was looking for. Haibara's Note 2. The day of the Kagura nears. The Rogetsu Kagura dance will probably once again overflow with guests. Tourists are coming again. The Kagura dance spreads Rogetsu's island's name and has brought in revenue. Lately, preparations below have not been advancing. Yo has spoken to all the Kanadi, and the true Mask of the Lunar Eclipse is complete. We must resurrect the Ceremony of Passage. The Mask of the Lunar Eclipse made the Shrine Maiden bloom, and she began to destroy the island. Okay. Assuming that the day without suffering had arrived, people feared and detested the ritual. But as for the true Mask of the Lunar Eclipse and the Ceremony, for the Utsua, it may cure my daughter's illness. The Mask of the Lunar Eclipse is my final move in treating Luna Sedata Syndrome. In the Rogetsu Kagura, the Utsua loses her own sense of self within the Mask, and the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse erases all their memories. They are brought to that essential place. Once there, their self returns and floods into them. If the Ceremony of Passage is successful, the long battle with Luna Sedata Syndrome will end. My wife thought the sickness of our daughter was her fault and took her own life. Oh, Saruka's mother killed herself. I have waited a long time from that day. Perhaps I won't have to look at my daughter's unhappy face anymore. The results of this research are dedicated to my late wife. That is noble and also very depressing. So, uh, people and things, huh? Shigeto Haibara. Ceremony of passage. Was it the treatment? Something, the ceremony to cure its daughter? Studying the ceremony to cure his daughter? His wife died of the Lunasadata syndrome. So I guess Haibara, never mind, Haibara must have had a daughter who did this. I was going to say, Ruka's mother never demonstrated suicidal tendencies. Masks of the Lunar Eclipse, L.E. The taboo mask, used in the ceremony of passage, caused a disaster, the day without suffering. Did Shigeto Haibara try to relieve, revive the mask because of its strong effect on the syndrome? I don't know. I keep going back and forth between diabolical genius and just a scientist who wants to advance but is going too far. <laughs> well, there's obviously no need to go into the secret passage because that just takes us down to the basement. I guess this was basically just a plot room. And I'm happy it's there. Huh? Oh. Alright. Twenty! Jeez, man! Choshiro! This guy's just starting to juggle with these things. Yeah, I got 20 red gems. No big deal. 
Oh, I was waiting for a jump scare, but I thought it'd be a ghost. Moshi moshi. That's so creepy. I mean, you you know what it's for, but out of context, that sounds so creepy. It's kind of actually creepy in context, but oh man. Assistance note number four. The lunar eclipse, the ceremony of passage is nearing. The only tradition which remains from the olden days is the old form of the Rogetsu Kagura dance. The song pours forth from the mask Kanade, the souls of the dead, into the Utsuwa. The primordial dance that releases these is all called the ceremony of passage. The director said preparations have been made for the stage in the underground lunar hall, but the performing handmaidens, songs, chimes, flute, drums, strings, are those five Kanade the same? The dancer? Is she really a vessel? And what about the ceremony of passage in the midst of the dance? I can't get rid of this anxiety I have, but I'm beginning to become strongly drawn to the ceremony of passage. It's because I saw the mask. The mask of the lunar eclipse. That mask. The soft smile on the brink of tears. The instant anger visible over facing death. The maniac feeling when seeing that mask. I still want to see the dance using this mask. No. I even want to be in it myself. It's too late to turn back. Is the assistant going to be the final boss of this game? Like he put on the mask and he's a guy and not a girl and that made everything blow up. Oops, sorry. Things! We're almost done with things, thank god. I'm, it just irritates me that there's a section called things. Oh, no, we're not almost done! Oh! We only got a couple more things anyway. At the same time as the Kagura, the ceremony of passage was done in the underground lunar hall. Ruka and the others were brought here to act in the role of Kanadi for the ceremony of passage. Like, I'm sorry, I keep stumbling here, but those words are hard to read, even for me. Some of that stuff gets pretty blurry. And I'm so happy with the, uh the faster loading time. Okay, this was just the, the dead end, so I'll check it out real quick. <sighs> just being sure. I want my bonuses, thank you very much. I haven't unlocked even one regarding doll collection. Might have actually gotten this one. Because I know I did actually get a couple of these things with Choshiro. At least with proper loading time, this isn't such a pain. Nothing really to examine, I don't think. Just debris. I think we're done here. Okay, we can head back outside. So, straight ahead. Around all the way. Alright. I'm really excited about this. I mean, the mortuary ended up being not bad at all. Cemetery? I don't know. I, I have my doubts about the cemetery. I swear I knew there'd be a fight in here. Oh, a little slow, Owen. Whoa, nice dodge, though. Hey. Ah, oh, nuts. She's behind me. Damn. That wasn't so bad. Bye bye. 8,000 points, man. Hey now, I'm not getting too strong, am I? Okay, around there. That was, of course. No, wait a second. There was a doll out here, but I think that might have been one of the dolls that vexed me because I couldn't get a picture of it. So let's just test that theory real quick. Dude, I know there's a doll out here. There it is. Because <laughs> I remember Choshiro was unquestionably the first person that came to this area, and I couldn't get the picture of the doll, and I was like, what? So unless I picked it up later, let's see. Uh-huh. Gotcha. You don't even know how satisfying this is for me. Just, like, taking care of business that I missed earlier. Well, actually, you probably do know how satisfying it is, but I'm telling you, it feels good. That's the only annoying part. 
I have the switch function for lenses, but I don't think there's a switch off without going into the menu. Back in we go, and mercifully, after all this reading, we get to hit a safe point in the lobby. And I already fought in here, so I'm not expecting anything else to happen. Which, of course, means that something else is going to happen, right? Oop. Ugh, I'm sorry. I just don't want to be caught unawares when a fighting ghost shows up, you know? There we go. Yeah, laugh it up, little girl. Okay. Nineteen dolls. I'm on chapter eight and I only have nineteen dolls. <laughs> Alright. What do we have here? Good. What? Got that one. Okay, so yeah, I, I was pretty sure I could be in the attack and capture vanishing ghosts. It just, it just made me concerned when I found I couldn't. What do you think these were? I mean, we go right from one to two here, unless it was a coincidence. Beckoning Nurse One beckons to come toward... Well, I followed her anyway. Beckons to come toward a distant place. Well, we know where that is. We just gotta go through to the cemetery. Let me tell you how much I'm looking forward to that. Keep walking. And I, I still can't go out here. I must be able to get that doll outside on a New Game Plus or something. Because on New Game Plus, is you tend to start the game with your camera. Because if you remember... Uh, the Fatal Frame games, you start off briefly without your camera, you find one later. And you'll miss a couple of vanishing ghosts before you get the opportunity to even pick the camera up in the first place, so those are clearly new Game Plus ghosts. Fatal Frame 3 was the exception, actually. You could take pictures of the vanishing ghosts without the camera. You just couldn't fight. But in 1 and 2, you definitely had some inevitable ghosts that you would just outright miss. Man, that flickering light. The fact that there's power at all is actually a little weird. This hospital looks quite abandoned. Don't think I forgot about you. Now, the, the only question is, have I already gotten a picture of it? I don't think so. I think it's another one of those ones that drove me crazy. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, good. Now, at least this is an easy process. Okie dokie. Now we have to go through this miserable room. Let's see if I don't fight that little girl again. No? Good. I don't like this room at all. Amazing atmosphere though, no denying that. Easy does it. Easy does it. Man, I, I guess I was supposed to run around those shelves. I did not see anything. <laughs> oh, well. Probably the nurse again. Bingo! Alright, we got new territory. Yeah, I'm not surprised the game took a while to load. I mean, remember... Uh... <laughs> We got a ways to go. So let's see. Immediately in here's back door, and then there's this little side room. Gotta check that out. Whoa, we're actually outside. I kinda thought it would be hallways up to the outside. And yeah, this place is begging for a save point. Which I will gratefully accept. Thank you. 
Okay, now. Are there dolls out here? Or is there a doll out here? Garbage bags, a decaying smell. Ugh. So, what body parts do you think are in those garbage cans? Jump scare ghost? A furnace? Oh, discarded documents. You know, I... I was instantly expecting bodies. Not even kidding. Sure, I'll check him out, but I'm expecting a fight because of it. Uh... Oh, jeez. Half-burned letters. <clears throat> a tightly bound pile of letters. Addressed to me. Here I was about to make a joke about letters to Santa or something, but no, they're for Choshiro. Twenty- Jesus Christ, I've never seen this much. Kirishima, it seems you've also come to this island for work. I've come to the island to focus on studying its society. The culture of the island is interesting and really stands out with its originality. The purpose of my latest research is this island's mask. It's known that the mask is related to the island's religion, however, there are so many mysteries. This is the year of the dance, which occurs every decade. Many masks are made for it. If all goes well, perhaps I may be able to visit the actual place where the island's masks are made. I think I'm going to stay on the island for a while. Remember my little sister, Iori? Huh. And here I was thinking Iori was only a guy's name, like Iori Yagami. She's also with me. I'm looking forward to this mysterious Kagura. It's completely adapted for tourists. Iori wants to meet you and have a drink together when you come to the island. It's unusual that the natives of this island don't traditionally consume large quantities of alcohol. Kusanagi University Assistant Professor Takashi Aiba. That's one letter. Oh, thank God we got a blank. First of all, the Kagura mask is the part of the ceremony believed to represent God. Traditionally, the form of the God for the coming year is unified with the current God during the Kagura dance. However, Rogetsu Island's mask is not the face of God. First of all, this island does not believe in a God. Recently, it became known as the Rogetsu Kagura Dance. However, it was formerly known as the Ceremony of Passage. The name takes its meaning from old world, which an old word which talks of the return of the dead. Ha! Ah. I think that since masks are put on the faces of the dead, the owl's mask perhaps imitates the dead. Covering the faces of the dead with masks, dancing, these customs are rarely ever seen. The mask is the form of death on this island, or perhaps in the form of the dead. If you imagine an unchanging dead face, could this eternal face be the true representation of the owl's mask? Do the masks used in the Ceremony of Passage have some kind of unique role in the ritual? <gasps> That is the mask worn by the Utsua. The Utsua's mask was made before all the other Kagura masks, and the other Kagura masks have different origins. Even among these, I was struck by the prominent presence of the imitation of the lunar eclipse made by the suit. Made by. Ah. Oh, got a stumble. Made by Soetsu Yomotsuki, the mask of the lunar eclipse. However, the island fell into ruin when the shrine maiden wearing the mask of the lunar eclipse bloomed. After this, its existence also became, became taboo on the island, and even mentioning it is frowned upon. The mask making techniques of Soetsu's era were lost as a result of the disaster that had once occurred, and were now more than halfway through. However, other than that, we know nothing of the jet black mask. Oh, great. Now Soya is trying to revive the advanced mask-making techniques of Soetsu's era. Just maybe a part of the mask of the lunar eclipse. I was told that my sister has a mild case of Luna Sedata. After watching the Kagura, she might get better. Even so, she'll briefly be hospitalized here. Extended hospitalization was discussed, but only as an extreme and unlikely option. I will continue to research these masks. I did come to the island to visit, but... A black mask. At the time when the dead returned... The dead are all the same form of spirits. I cannot imagine the purpose of this mask. What sort of ritual is it that suggests summoning spirits back from death? Its peaceful smile is like a Buddha statue. However, the Buddha statues do not share the primitive sense of emptiness in this mask. I believe before that they were speaking of death within this mask, but now, it may be that it isn't death, but something else. When I see it, it drags me into the bottom of a deep nothingness. A feeling of dreadful relief floods into me. It's so beautiful. Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Even though my eyes were crushed, I still looked. I saw it. It's beautiful. What is that mask? The freaking Ark of the Covenant? It's beautiful. Oh, no! Like, what the hell does this mask have to offer? Last of the people. Takashi Aiba, Kusanagi University Assistant Prof. My friend from university, he came to the island to investigate the masks and learn the data. Things. More in masks. When you land on the island, you're asked to wear a mask. The masks are important to the people of the island. Masks worn by the shrine maidens are especially valued. Oh, thank God. The next item I find will be far, far more letters. All the letters. Now, where's the, uh... There we go. Glowy point. Gotcha. Thousands. Millions of letters. About film incineration? 
The film record of the Kagura must still be burned. No other record of the dance has ever been recorded or stored before, but this film is strange. At first, I thought the film was damaged. However, I confirmed when I watched it once more that I could clearly see a woman that I had not seen when I was there in person. She seemed to be dancing. I also saw the nurse mixing together somehow, but then I saw the woman much more clearly. Gradually, this woman fades in. When I realized what was occurring, I couldn't believe it myself. I refused to think about it. No more of this footage should be taken, even for verification. Already, I'm reluctant to be near this film. Without waiting for the director's instructions, I'll use the incinerator out back. Seven days. Oh my god. Wow, good range. So I missed beckoning nurse number three, huh? Normally I would hit the save point and call it oops, I'm sorry. Normally I would hit the save point and call it a day, but you know what? We're heading to what is clearly a dead end, so unless there's a trap door in that cemetery, which there actually might very well be, I will venture a little further. So she's advancing through the bamboo, dominated by the pale moon. That did say bamboo, right? Yes, it had to have. I'm still going to save, though. But I'm not quite done yet. All that reading is leaving my mouth dry, so I want to see if I can get a little action in on this. Or at least take a look at the cemetery. Pull silent till 2 when you read Choshiro Kirishima on the gravestone. Hey, look, lanterns that are kind of like the ones from Fatal Frame 1. Can I, I can't venture off the path, can I? No, invisible walls. Which is actually kind of good. What, just on the ground? In the tree? By the tree? Dude, come on, something's up with this tree. Your notes, give them to me. On this branch? Yes! Holy crap. Ten blue crystals. Totally worth it. Okay, so. What? Beckoning nurse number 68. We get it. Follow the one-way path. Lady, go away. I'm walking through you. Oh, what's this? I'm approaching a light. I get it, woman. We're going. Not that I'm going to complain about your 7,000 sets of 500 points. Huh? Oh. Chain? A lens I could actually use that does damage, god forbid? Extends the amount of time available between chain shots. Well, that's kind of cool. And I have a freaking 105 red crystals. So, yeah, alright. You know what, I'm gonna take it off completely just to be on the safe side. There we go. Maybe I could have cycled through ones to unequip, but I don't know. Okay, I could still use it. That is a lot of graves in a pile for one giant ass grave. This is going to be like a constantly spawning set of ghosts. No, damn you. No. Not <laughs> Whatever, we get the idea. Hello, hello. Now what's this? Tsubaki Tono's Diary. I came to this island upon Uncle's recommendation. Although I was scared at first, I'm very grateful now. The people at the hospital on the islanders are very kind and have taught me all kinds of things. This year, a festival done once every decade will be held. The role of the Utsuwa maiden is to dance in the ceremony, seemingly lifted up by God in the dance, and I was a little surprised to find out that the islanders had recommended me. 
Still, the role of the Yotsuwa has a rich and beautiful feeling to it, and it was just right for a person around my age, so I decided to accept. To be able to participate in this island's ancient festival is a great honor, and best of all, I think it'll be a wonderful opportunity to convey my gratitude. It seems that from now on, I'll need to undergo some sort of purification training involving masks. This role is my duty. Blackened film. This I want to see. This must be the forbidden film. I want to see this real bad, actually. Back to the dining room. And, yeah. Oh, nuts. Oh, well. I get... Oh, ooh. Easily would have missed that one. Oh, wait. No, 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 I, I do need the thing. Okay. Now, how do I do this? That button... Directional... Alright, so let's try this. So there's that. Uh-huh. And then this. Let's hope I can damage stuff with that. And yay, I unlocked, apparently, some costume with the ability to buy some costume. Okay. You're quick, but I'm quicker, dude. You picked the wrong go oh, 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 I just realized I need to heal. Wouldn't that have been a buzzkill? Guess I'll buy some more herbal medicines. Hope I can afford it. Alright, 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 alright! Hey, creepy head! Double kill! Sweet! There was a third one. I was wondering about you, freak. Holy crap! How many ghosts are there? The Choshu's a goddamn tank! Like, did you see what I just did? Whoa, hello. Excuse me for a second. Dude, I'll rack up 2,000 points. I know I'm running a little low on energy, but... This fight is so much fun! I gotta do a little recharging now. And by a little, I mean a freaking ton. Whoa, they're faster than I thought. That's well, okay, I'll just run around in circles. Recharge a little faster, you stupid thing. But look, look at how much fun it is to fight with this guy! This is a blast! Whoop! Ho! Oh. Hey! Why don't you just do that? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! See those reflexes! You cannot be serious. I said I wanted some action, but... Let me tell you, man, I'm having so much fun with this. I'm having so much fun. Hup. Okay, seriously though, how many ghosts are there? If they respawn one more time, I'm just gonna run back. But this is really fun! Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Oh! Alright, I'm, I'm gonna leave. Like, I'm not in any real danger. It's just like... So many points! Look at all the points! Oh. Hello. Didn't see you there. But I really must be going. Look, I'm sorry, I know, I want to stay around too, but, uh, but really, I, I, I gotta go. I know, I know, we were friends, it was fun, but I, I really gotta go. Is this just like a grind fest? Not that I'm complaining. 
Oh, I just realized I can't save. Because there are enemies about. Maybe I just need to go in the door and then back out. That is an eerie sight, by the way. Hey! Ho! Hey! Ho! Oh my god, this is so awesome! Why are they still coming? Wait, is he is he by himself? Is there actually a limit? Did I seriously just fight these guys until they gave up? I think I did! Chain 10, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 stay around, stay around. Yes, 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 yes. Chain 11. Did you see that? I knocked him on his ass. No! Oh, no, 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 I need energy! Oh, I lost my chain, but I still killed him. Okay, I think the verdict is in. Oh, you cannot be serious. It still is just him, though. It's, it's just you. I'll try it. Boosh! Boosh! Is 926 damage a lot? I don't even know. Where's the Where's my little friend? Dude, we're in a courtyard. It's not like you can hide. Oh, there he is. Hey -o! Hey -o! Yeah, and stay out of here, you annoying little freak. Oh my god. Oh, who would have ever thought that in Fatal Frame you would just get plain bored by fighting ghosts? Here's a hint, not I. Alright, 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 alright. I'll indulge you. Oh, oh, I didn't actually kill him. That previous time. Now I did. Oh, for God's sake. All I want to do is save, man. Have you no heart? Yeah. Excuse me. You're in my way, sir. <laughs> Yo, I sent him flying! This flashlight is wonderful! What is he doing? It's really creepy. Just, just go away. Behind me? Of course it's behind me. It's always behind me. Because that's where I least expected. Oh, shit! There. Am I done? That has to be it. How many times can you respawn? No, the light's still out. Oh, for God's sake. Alright. You know what? I'm just going to open the door. I swear to God, if he follows me. Okay. Back outside. Although I gotta say, I, I probably increased my points by like 700,000. <laughs> now we go back outside. You know, I really, really wanted to be able to brag about how I actually beat every single ghost, but give me a break. 649,000? I really think I did, like, pump myself by like 150,000 or 100,000 or something like that. God damn! Yo, I could have been here all night and just like bought whatever I wanted whenever I wanted it. Forever. Oh! Speaking of which. Oh, yeah, I guess he wouldn't be able to buy film. Now I'll save. That, that was actually pretty fun though. It got a little boring toward the end when it's just like, okay, it's a ghost, but like, that 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 really was fun. Whew. 
And with that little marathon out of the way, I can stop the installment. Well, we certainly made progress today, didn't we? I mean, I said I wanted to take a couple of steps further just because all that reading was getting boring and I wanted a little bit of a fight, but... Wow. Wow. I mean, talk about getting what you ask for. Or, even more, talk about being careful what you wish for. I mean, that game took my wish to hyperbolic extremes. Whew. Although I think we all can agree on the fact that we've learned a very important lesson. Choshiro is a goddamn badass freaking tank. Until next time, everyone.